Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's all things Africa. Nana here, your kissy queen. Of course, your kissy babe. So first of all, let me just wish you happy Mashu Day to all my subscribers, those who are in diaspora and those who are in Kenya and and my family. Happy Mashu Day to you. Uh, today is 20th of October. I know you guys have really missed me. So the reason why I have not been doing a videos, it was that time of the month and normally I am a moody person. Like I normally like staying in my own like space. Like I don't feel like talking to anyone. That's why I did not do any video and I had no videos to post. Uh, I, I had no videos last week that were scheduled for me to post so today uh, they, yeah I think that's the reason why I have not been posting so first and for and also let me just thank you all my subscriber for the returnees thank you for always coming back to my channel and watching me that really means a lot I don't don't take you for granted and for the new subscribers in case you don't know me my name is all things Africa Nana a Kenyan youtuber who does lifestyle video cooking videos story time and all that I do things that are at my comfort zone I don't like going out of my comfort zone so and this is a channel full of positivity so in case you've not subscribed please subscribe because you are heading to 10,000 subscribers at the moment was at 9,600 and something so it's 400 more to go just subscribe to my channel guys it will really mean a lot ah and we also need to reach our uh, watch hours of 2 million and another thing you know i'm still marketing myself i do concierge services that is more of me running errands for you more of personal shopping where I do all those and then you pay me, it's a win-win. And I make sure that my clients are satisfied. I make sure that I communicate with my clients. Before I get anything, I make sure that we exchange photos in WhatsApp so that you know what you what you are buying and what you see is what you get. And my services are affordable, guys. So in case you need someone to go and run errands from you, and this girl, all things African Nana and Mama Plugs, will get you to buy things at an affordable price cost. So, I know I look good in this top of mine, the thrift top I bought at Gikomba. And I already plugged the number of that lady. And I told you these tops were going for 100 Kenyan shillings. That's also for 50 Kenyan shillings. So, if you want to buy, go to her. And guys, she, she has the best quality tops. So the video of today is get to know more, get to know a little more of all things Africa Nana here. I did a Q&A in Instagram and of course uh, three or four people did um, ask me and I'm going to include those questions in these questions that are here. And these questions I got from Respa Faith, I think they, they were more relatable to me. So let us start off by the number one question. I told you it's all about Nana. You get to know me a little more. So it's a question and, and answer style. So where were you born? Me, I was born in Nairobi at a hospital. At a, at a hospital. I was born in Nairobi at a hospital called Pumwani. Yeah, me, I'm a Pumwani baby. Guys, don't mind about my hair. The, those are, these are bad hair days. But at least when I go out, I wear a wig. Yeah. So, what do you do? As of now, I'm a full-time YouTuber. And of, course, and of course, I do concierge services. And of course, I can market your products in my Instagram page, in my Facebook platform, and also in my YouTube. As you can see, there's something back. I marketed a spray. You know, I'm a body splash from a lady. She has a shop in Kenyatta Market. I'm going to plug you. And I'm going to put the number and the location of the shop down there, guys. She has imported body splash Victoria's Secret. And the prices ranges, ranges from 1200 up to 2000 Kenyan shillings. You really love the body splash. So that's what basically what I do. I hope I've answered you. So how many siblings do you have? Apparently, I'm the only kid... I'll come to that because many people have been asking and I remember I do I did a video with my sister sometime back. Is it two years back? Yeah, two years back 
of how I'm related to them. Actually, they are all my aunts, but because I lived with them, so I call them my sisters because I've grown up with them, by the way. That's why I really love Kim Kropia. So if someone attacks her, I feel so bad because I'm close to her because we are almost age mates. That's why. Mm -hmm. Where did you school? Okay, me, my journey of school is so long. First, I was in Nairobi and Kawa Garrison Primary School from nine from year one up to class eight for class from class one up to class eight and then i headed to kisi i remember i schooled at amasago high school for at form one only and then that's how we decided me and kemto because kemto was almost finishing her school and we thought that life could be hard because it was a day school and then i went to bomet kapsimiri high school where i finished my high school level at form four cup if you don't know where the cup century is cup century is in bomet county yeah so how how many friends uh me what i'll tell you they are seasonal friends i have seasonal friends i have acquaintances i have best friends like i don't know you know people come and people go because me all i know people have uh, when people want to be in, in a relationship with you in terms of friendship People have ulterior motive. There are some who will want to be my friend because right now I'm in YouTube and they are YouTubers, so they want me to market them. They just don't want friendship. There are some who just come because they ha they see something good in you. They want to use you. I'm not saying that I'm perfect, but let me tell you the friends that I have are two. First of all, it's my friend Kemto Bear. That's my best best friend because in thickness, at least at in thicker than hell in terms of stress and all that she's always been there for me even though we fight but what i'll tell you guys came to has been there for me and she's the one who taught me youtube that's why i really love her because she wants the best in people that's why i really love that is my number one friend and another friend of mine she's called joan joan i found her through youtube by the way she dm me in instagram and we went for a lunch and for for a lunch date and i noticed that we click She's not a YouTuber, she's a, one of my subscribers, but I noticed she's a very good friend of mine. And if you don't, if you've noticed this, this shopping that I've been going, it is her who I've, I have been with. She's a very good friend of mine and she does good cakes and she's the one who, who does the chili sauce, guys. So if you want to buy chili, chili salsa, the pili pili that we've been making, by the way, she's the one and I'm going to give you her number, but i'm the marketer she's the producer yes so we've kind of the, our friendship have really grown i think right now it's one year actually we are going to two years our friendship has really really grown so guys in case you want to buy some chili sauce chili salsa please dm me or dm her we are going to have a shelf we have a shelf in town by the way and we deliver everywhere and our chili salsa goes for 250 Kenyan shillings. It is her signature Nini recipe uh, ingredients, guys. So please let's support her. Because me, normally what I say is I love supporting my own. And I love for promoting my own. That's how we grow together. I think I've answered your question. I only have two friends in my life. So how is your hustle experience? <laughs> I'm telling you, hustling, hustling, hustling is so hard hustler nation hustling my hustling experience it was not at a bed of roses and i'm still hustling because i thank god where i am right now but i want to be far i want to be able to pay my bills without even having stress i want to to hustle until i have my own land i have to i want to hustle i want to be very far five years from now i hope i've answered you guys but the hustle experience seemed chezo because i remember first of all when i was hustling when i was in kole i started uh i was a, i was more of a sales shop when i was a shop my uncle and they used to pay me at the end of the month at the same time i was going to school and after that i came to nairobi then i was i was a poor nini i was employed at insurance regulatory authority on contract basis as a procurement assistant up to 2016 and then things things fell apart my contract ended i really don't i really don't know but i don't regret because at least i had experience and i know things happen with a reason after that i i had a boutique my my aunt employed me at a boutique in pangani where we were selling menswear 
and then I decided to also bring my own because unalipo kuna pia unafanya kazi yako and after that okay, I have done I started after that corona happened and then we, I went to Uganda I I I bought men's clothes so I came here then I started selling again nikaanza kuchukua pia mango kutoka Tanzania of course me I was dealing with menswear I started selling it was the business was booming until one person when I sold to that person akakata bila akakaa bila kunipa you know friends how are uh, cuz me I know friends are supposed to support you most of the friends but I realized that in that business most of my friends yes they were buying but uh, it's like they saw as if they were doing a favor for me paying in a core issue sasa nikakata mambo ya kwenda Tanzania and Uganda and then I came okay, I have been doing many things guys I came and then I started doing YouTube YouTube nimekuwa nikifanya concierge services cuz I remember I was doing that free pro bono no one was paying me and then my sister came to the one who told me nana you are very good at this job why don't you monetize it people send you and then they pay you at a very good rate and that's why I started doing uh, and nini concierge services and youtube and here we are this is these are the things you nini concierge services and youtube are the things that are paying my bills of course in a bed sitter and i'm so happy of what i have i don't fake I'm just happy of what I have and I want to be. Of course, where I am today, I was not here, but I want to have more. So I hope I've answered you. And future plans, I think I've answered from the my household experience. Five years from now, I really want to have my own apartment. I, I want to be traveling in the whole world. Of course, vlogging at the same time, benchmarking to see business ideas, uh, people, who, the business ideas people have in Western countries and all that kind, so that I bring that business here in Kenya. I want to have farming. You know me, I love. I really love farming, farming, but in business wise, not farming for my stomach. Farming in business wise, like I really want to have a chain of stores. A chain of clothing because I really love selling men's clothes like seriously that's why I'm telling you I want to travel around the world so that I I just benchmark I hope I've answered you and of course I want to have kids not many too <laughs> what is your biggest body insecurity <laughs> let me tell you the truth my biggest body insecurity is my boobs like i love having having big boobs i know god created us in his own image with love but akimimi i have this desire of having big boobs like big boobs sin chezo like that's my desire but i can't go to an extent of doing a cg bbl or what let me tell you it, it reached a point where i was saying why did god give me small boobs but now when i was i think 20 21 22 that's how i got to love myself and whether I have small or whatever I'm just okay so if someone somebody doesn't want that my boobs are small I am the two zake but moral of the story my boobs are my biggest insecurity used to be my biggest insecurities but right now I love the way they are age gap in a relationship my age gap Actually, let me tell you, me, I love, I love a man 10 years older than me. You know why? When you date someone who is your age mate, aki mutasumbwana, because this person, atataka kuenda out, or atataka kuenda out. This person will want to control you, or atataka kumkontrol, or atamonesha, or atakipuja. Me, for me, by the way, age matters. For me, for me, this is me. For me, age matters. Age matters. I know why I'm telling you that, because I've been there. See, I've been doing story times with you and more of, I've not told you most of them because you know, Saki could judge you. Of course, I don't care if people judge me, but I just don't want to expose myself to that extent. But for me, age matters 10 years older than me. Yeah, at least that person is mature enough and he can take care of you. Not in terms of financially, like like it's just mature. I'll I'll tell you, I know someone might be younger and not mature, but me, for me, I prefer a man who is 10 years older than me. Now, you know, someone is sponsor, but I really don't care. Me, I just prefer someone who is older than me. <coughs> Do you have both parents? I can be tired with this question. My parents passed on, and this is a story I don't like, love telling you people. That's why I've been calling my grandmother, mom. 
and kemtobea my sister but kemtobea kemtobea is a sister to my mom all those sisters you see in youtube being mona raising baby ella mama solan they are they are sisters to my mom but they raised me as their own so people never knew that um people used to know that i'm their last born but they are sisters to my mom and i don't want this question again please because it's a sad story we don't we really don't like talking about this story because it was really a bad tra tragedy <sighs> if you are to choose cleaning or if you are to choose what will you choose cleaning or organizing me i love cleaning um i know most ladies will say the, the, the organizing because they have done their nails but my nails but my nails have infection that's why i don't apply Q-Tex, that's why I don't apply, I don't do manicure, because if I do manicure, hata ni kena to the best person who knows how to do it. Nitakuwa tunashida na kucha zangu. Actually, this is what, also my insecurity, because people have been, kuna mtu kwa comments somewhere said that my, my nails look like smoky. You know, usui tukana mtu na ujui mtu wakona shida gani. As we have many issues in this life, but we just live with them. So me, I prefer cleaning, because... I have this condition called sinusitis. Sinusitis is more ugonje konasjui allergies. You don't you are not supposed to stay where there is dust, perfume, what what what. So I prefer cleaning. That's why you notice my house doesn't have any dust. I prefer cleaning. Cleaning is my all-time thing, by the way. Except clothes. <laughs> Washing clothes. So what's the most that youtube ever paid you in a month okay seriously i don't this one i got it someone asked me in instagram i really don't feel like i really don't feel like saying how much youtube paid me in a month or how much i've ever got in youtube what i'll tell you youtube really pays and youtube is the one that pays my monthly my bills the youtube is the one yani menilipa whatever that you've seen me doing buying my purchases it's youtube that has been paying me what i'll tell you if you want to do youtube i'll advise you do youtube but it is a process don't do youtube because you want to be paid immediately because you know for you to do youtube you need to, to for you to get that for you to be paid you have to have a thousand subscribers and four thousand hours of time so that your channel gets monetized and you are Nitangwaje consistency, you posting things that are so relevant and knowing your niche. That's how you'll get to know how much YouTube pays you. Me, I'm not comfortable of saying how much YouTube pays me. Siko buyer, but I'll tell you, YouTube really pays. It's a big answer, but that's the answer that I'm comfortable giving you guys. Introducing our in-law, which in-law? I'm still single, guys, and I'm really not searching. I'm still... I still love my own space because whatever I've gone through in dating, guys, no. Toxicity, no. Dating a man is like taking care of a baby. And that's a no-no for me right now because I've not managed getting all the things that I want in life. Yes. So, and you know, okay, there's a story I'll tell you guys. Hey, when, when people started doing that, I live alone, especially men. Hey, hey. Because are men of today. They have not even manned up. They want a lady who is comfortable, lady manyamaji sustain so that they are comfortable as funny anything. They don't pay any bills. I'm not saying that I'm, uh, I'm materialistic, but they are those little, it's the little things that matter when what you do for a lady. But for this case, I'll tell you a story. Give this video like 200 likes, give it a thousand plus watch time views. And you'll get to know why why I'm telling you this. And there's another one say that uh, if I want kids, yes, I really want kids, but I'm not I'm not even dating. I really want kids and two kids to be precise, because you know it's good. Oh, let me let's not talk about that. So guys, I hope you like this video. Subscribe in case you haven't. Let's reach ten thousand subscribers and two million watch hours time. Support my channel by watching my videos from the start to the end. Don't even skip the ads, guys. I told you YouTube really pays, and I know you love me, and I love you too, guys. For all those watching, I I take you as family. YouTube, my YouTube family, because you guys you really advise me. 
most have negative comments and most have positive comments but what i'll tell you i know not everyone will love me and i will not love everyone too it's a balance for the world to have a balance so thank you so much for always watching my videos i really do appreciate and it's the love that i i don't know what i'm going how i'm going to express myself because you guys okay i'm at nine thousand, and i'm so thankful i'm really thankful it's a milestone for, for me even if i have a one subscriber it's a milestone for me guys so see you in the next video and guys suggest which video you want me to post and i'll do that so longer is not out of my comfort zone so bye, -bye. happy mashujade